Today our question is explain the formation of stationary waves in air column enclosed on open pipe derive the equation for the frequencies of the harmonics produced so first of all we have to examine the formation of stationary waves in a open pipe open pipe means both ends are open suppose this is a pipe if this is a pipe the both ends are open that is called open pipe okay next thing i have to find the frequencies of different harmonics okay first of all let us discuss this definition harmonics the frequencies which are integral multiples of uh, fundamental frequency are harmonics so if we multiply a fundamental frequency with a number that develops harmonics okay next vowel tone there is a slight relation between harmonics and vowel tone the frequency is higher than fundamental frequency are known as vowel tones that means if there is a uh, fundamental frequency which is called the first harmonic we can uh, call it as first harmonic a uh, next level frequency that is second harmonic third harmonic fourth harmonic in terms of harmonic we can call it as harmonics but uh, in case of vowel tone the second harmonic is called as first vowel tone that means more than fundamental frequency third harmonic is called second vowel tone like that so these are the relation between harmonic and uh, vowel tones now an organ pipe is a cylindrical tube having an air column if both ends of the tube are open as shown in here it is known as an open organ pipe so first of all we have to consider a pipe where the both ends are open now the first harmonic or fundamental frequency should at least have one anti node at each end with the node included between them so here a sound wave enters into this organ pipe for fundamental frequency there will be two anti nodes this is anti node a this is anti node forms at uh, both ends of the pipe and uh, node forms at mid position of this pipe so this is represented as length of the pipe now we have to find the frequency of this particular stationary wave so according to the pipe the length of the pipe l is equal to according to the diagram the wavelength of the loops are lambda by 2 so we discussed in stretched strings also if this is a loop if you consider this loop the wavelength of this loop is lambda by 2 but here the loop is like this this also lambda by 2 so the length of the pipe is equals to the wavelength of the stationary wave that is lambda by 2 another thing is this is first harmonic so this can be written as lambda 1 so therefore lambda 1 is equal to 2 l this is equation number 1 now we have to find the frequency of this wave we know v is equal to n lambda v means velocity of sound n means frequency lambda means wavelength so 
the velocity is common here this is for first harmonic this can be written as lambda 1 and n can be written as n 1 so from this equation n 1 is equal to v by lambda 1 now put this is equation 2 put equation 1 in equation 2 we get n 1 is equal to v 1 by v by lambda 1 means 2 L this is the fundamental frequency of the open organ pipe V means velocity of the sound L means length of the pipe this is fundamental frequency in next situation the second harmonic are first overtone ok don't confuse for harmonic and overtone the overtone number is 1 less than harmonic number overtone will be have 2 nodes and 3 anti nodes ok for second harmonic stationary wave which is having 2 nodes and 3 anti nodes this is first node this is second node anti nodes are 1 at midpoint 1 this is 1 totally 3 anti nodes so find we have to find the frequency so the length of the pipe is l this is according to the pipe length of the pipe is l is equal to find the wavelength actually here one loop is available so one loop is like this here middle loop this is lambda by 2 and uh, by adding these two loops extreme position loops those represents lambda by 2 so lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 this is this and this represents lambda by 2 and alone this loop represents lambda by 2 so L is equal to 2 lambda by 2 2 gets cancelled L is equal to lambda ok this is second harmonic that's why I am putting it wavelength as lambda 2 this is equation number 3 again we know V is equal to n lambda so we have to find n value so this uh, for second harmonic lambda is lambda 2 n is n 2 so n 2 is equal to v by lambda 2 then n 2 is equal to v by lambda 2 means l so n 2 is equal to v by l then if I multiply and divide by 2 here multiply and divide by 2 at RHS n2 is equal to 2 by 2 into V by L then n2 is equal to 2 into V by L 2L. According to our previous expression, V by 2L is nothing but N1. So, N2 is equal to 2 into N1. So, this is integral multiples of harmonics. Okay. This is N1 is called fundamental frequency which is multiplied by 2. So, second harmonic is multiplied by 2 with fundamental frequency. This is also called first overtone. This is first overtone. Okay. Next expression. Now, similarly, 
द थर्ड हार्मोनिक आर सेकेंड वावर टोन विल बी हैव थ्री नोड्स एंड फोर एंटी नोड्स सो थ्री नोड्स दिस इज वन दिस इज टू दिस इज थ्री थ्री नोड्स एंड फोर एंटी नोड्स दिस इज वन टू थ्री फोर एंटी नोड्स ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस दिस विल बी लेंथ ऑफ द पाइप नाउ एल इज इक्वल टू लेंथ ऑफ द पाइप इज इक्वल टू वै टू इक्वेट द वेव लेंथ ऑफ दिस स्टेशनरी वेव हियर हाउ मेनी लूप्स दिस इज वन लूप दिस इज वन लूप इन एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन दट विल बी वन लूप हाफ लूप हाफ लूप इज अवेलेबल सो दिस विल बी वन लूप सो ईच लूप ईच लूप वेव लेंथ इज लैमडा बै टू सो लैमडा बै टू लैमडा बै टू एंड द टोटल इज लैमडा बै टू ऐदर सैड सो दिस इज थ्री लैमडा बै टू नो वै टू फैंड लैमडा वैल्यू दट इज टू एल बै थ्री इज ईक्वल टू लैमडा देन दिस इज थर्ड हारमोनिक so i am putting lambda value as lambda 3 this is one this is another equation now find the frequency now again we know v is equal to n lambda for third harmonic the frequency is n3 wavelength also n3 so find n3 frequency of sound n3 is equal to v by lambda 3 so n3 is equal to now put this expression so v by 2l by 3 this is 2l by 3 so n3 is equal to 3 v by 2l v by 2l means fundamental frequency according to the first answer so we can replace this value with n1 that is n3 is equal to 3 into n1 so the third harmonic is nothing but the three times of the fundamental frequency that is integral multiple and uh, this is third harmonic and uh, vowel tone is second vowel tone okay this is an essay question if you practice this concept if you practice this thing only for first harmonic you can write automatically second harmonic and third harmonic value okay so finally n1 is equal to v by 2l n2 is equal to n2 is equal to 2 into 2 into v by 2l n3 is equal to the frequencies of four different harmonics 3 into v by 2l so here here the frequencies ratio of these things are 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to and so on so the fundamental frequency is v by 2l for first harmonic 2 into v by 2l in second harmonic this is doubled next thing next for harmonic is increased three times so like that this is the final result okay thank you